What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just gonna be about my recent pickups. So like everything I've bought over the past month or so, like all of January pretty much. Before I get into anything, I just wanna say thank you to everybody that watched my last video. I got like, I think 800 views now, so. I appreciate all you guys watching that, but I still only have like 40 subscribers. So if you are watching right now and you do enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button because that would help a lot. I have like 10 to 12 items, I think. I went shopping at a vintage store the other day, so I picked up some pretty cool stuff from there, but I'm just gonna get right into it. This first tee is a 1991 World Series Champions Minnesota Twins tee. I'm assuming that's the year they won the World Series. I'm not really familiar with baseball, so I wouldn't know, but I really like the graphic. It has like this blue, red, and green. It's a starter at the bottom. It's a size large, but it fits like a medium. I'll have on body shots for all the clothes by the way so you guys can see how they all look on body. It does have a few flaws though like it has a hole in the shoulder right here. It has some holes in the back but I mean this t-shirt is like almost 30 years old now so this is what you get. It is single stitched as you guys can see. I don't have many white vintage tees so when I saw this one I really liked it so I figured I had to pull the trigger. Super happy with this. This next tee is probably the biggest meme of an item I'll ever show on my channel. I pretty much bought this just for like the sole reason of the nostalgia from like Supreme because that's kind of how I got into all, like all this. My friend Seth got me into Supreme and I was like super obsessed with it for like probably a year and a half i just wanted everything supreme like every drop week i would get so excited so this is from like the first week i ever went for supreme and uh so it's kind of nostalgic and i probably won't wear this a lot but i don't know it's like the gon's head tea i think is what it's called but i just bought it from him because he still had it he didn't wear it or anything so i figured why not just grab it i'll probably get some wear out of it this spring summer but yeah not much to say about that all right moving on i have this fordham university i think that's how it's pronounced i'm pretty sure it's like a private school in new york but i got this hoodie off of um ray's corner store he's also a youtuber he makes a lot of videos on like workwear vintage stuff he has a really cool channel um i'll leave a link down below yeah, it's only 25 bucks it's just a really thick hoodie it's this really light gray and it just has fordham university printed on it's navy colorway with like cream around the letters this goes with a ton of different outfits so i needed a good gray hoodie next i have this padded work flannel from wrangler i got this at the vintage store in raleigh as well it fits me pretty oversized and boxy it reminds me a lot of the uh, Lenciaga padded flannel that released in, i think fall winter 17 or 2018 but kanye wore it uh travis scott wore it probably a few other celebrities wore it but it was like really popular at the time and this looks just like it so i figured why not grab it the inside has like this i don't know if you guys can see it's like this quilted material but it's pretty warm i like to wear this over the top of hoodies like this over this it goes together perfectly i think this was like 20 bucks 25 bucks so i'm pretty sure the valenciaga one's like 600 dollars so that's Kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to pay that, obviously, for a flannel. The last thing I got at the vintage store was this vintage baseball varsity jacket. It just says Storm Club Baseball on this side. The sleeves just have these patches on them. Like, I'm pretty sure one says something about a tournament and the league. And this side says something about Babe Ruth. The back just says Storm Club in this big cursive font. I really like the color of this. It's kind of unique. It's like a teal mixed with a navy. Then on the collar and the sleeves and the bottom hem, it has this dark navy with uh, red and white stripes going through it. It's really nice contrast contrasting touch but yeah this jacket's just insane to me i'm gonna get a picture in it soon really glad i found this at the store moving on to pants and shorts i have this pair of black really faded out levi's jeans i'm pretty sure these are 5.11s but they um almost look just like this charcoal gray color now got these on ebay for seven dollars and i can honestly say that i'm pretty disappointed uh i didn't really read the measurements that well so when they came in i tried them on and like they're tight they're way too small on me. You guys know how I am about skinny pants. I just don't like them, but I don't know. I might try something new. We'll see how they look. I might can piece together an outfit with them. For $7, I mean, it was worth the risk, so I'm not too upset, but I do love the wash on these. The quality is pretty good. I'm pretty, I am don't think these are vintage. The seller said they were vintage, but I don't think they are. $7 for some vintage Levi's just is too good to be true. All right, moving on to shorts. I know it's kind of early to be talking about shorts because it's like early February, but in North Carolina right now, winter is just non-existent. The weather's been like 60s, 70s, some days. So I've been getting a lot of wear out of some shorts recently. I got these cream colored shorts from Urban Outfitters. I normally never shop there because like, I don't know, I just don't like most of their stuff, but I saw these. They were only 25 or 30 bucks and uh, they're just like this nylon short. They're almost like a swim trunk. They have like netting on the inside, which I don't like, but it's whatever. You can't really see it on the outside. They just have a small pocket on the back, but uh, I could see myself wearing these a lot this summer. I can probably even swim in them. I was thinking about maybe dyeing these. I feel like it'd be cool to like just dye these a certain color because they are white. So yeah, I might do that in a future video, but not much to say, just a plain pair of cream colored shorts. The next shorts I'm actually already wearing right now. They're just these black Fugazi cargo shorts. If you guys watched my last video, then you know about the Fugazi one of the chambers shoes I did a review on. They just had these flat pockets to go up 
on both sides. And then one of the coolest parts to me was that they have these like zippers inside the pocket. So it's like a hidden pocket underneath the pocket. And then on the waist, they have this like, like buckling belt. Kind of reminds me of some Elite's, the Elite's Nike shorts that have the built-in belt with them. But um, yeah, super satisfied with these. I'm pretty sure they're sold out in my size. They might still have a large and extra large in stock. So I'll leave a link down below. I got a size small and I'm 5'9 for reference. Next, I had this hat from a company called Viceroy. I came across their page on Instagram the other night and I saw that they were selling these like Yankees hats with the uh, Oliver and Company is the name of the movie, but I haven't even seen it. I don't care about the movie. I just thought it was like a cool graphic. It's like this cat under a hat on the hat, which um I don't know, it's kind of random, but I think it looks cool. And then on the back, it just says Viceroy. With, like, it's a little metal buckle. I'm pretty sure these are sold out now, so you can't buy them. But Ian Connor was wearing one. Uh, Ray's Corrupted Mind was wearing one. He's Travis Scott's photographer. They came out with like five or six colorways, but not much to say. Just a plain red hat with cool graphic on the front. Next, I just have this brown cock bet or Ross bet hat, however you want to pronounce it, from Gosha. It's pretty simple. It's just like a really floppy six panel brown hat with a snapback enclosure. And it just says Pock Bet right there in blue. Or Rasta. I know people are probably gonna like get mad at me for pronouncing it wrong, but I don't speak Russian, so this is very similar to the uh Atlanta vintage hat I have. It's like the exact same hat, pretty much same structure. You can find these for like 40 or 50 bucks. I'll leave a link down below. They have a bunch of different colors, like black, red, white. I've seen a bunch, but also I was just gonna mention this. It's good to get multiple colors so you can wear different beings with different outfits, but like 12 bucks. I found a website with these two and these are like 10 a piece, maybe like five. And then um, this navy one also, like you can find, I'll leave links. There's plenty of beanies, you can't go wrong with them. The last thing I wanted to show are these Rick Owens Geo Baskets. I know I showed these in my first video, but I ended up deleting that because the video was so garbage. I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. The video is terrible. This is probably one of my favorite shoes right now. I've been wearing these a ton. They go with so much. They're just this cream colorway. I don't wear these the same way that most people wear Rick Owens Geo Baskets. I know a lot of people wear them with like Rick pants, Rick hoodie, Rick everything. And it just looks kind of like, I don't know, I'm not a fan, but let me just wear these with like some pants that go over the top of the shoe. So it kind of defeats the purpose, I feel like, a little bit. But the quality on these is just insane. These aren't mainline. These are dark shadow. But you can see the tag right there. There's this suede material. I know most of them are leather, but I saw this suede pair on Grailed, and I was like, honestly, it's pretty unique. I do like them. The only thing I will say is I wore these on New Year's, and somebody spilled their drink on them. So there's, like, red stains, like, all over. I mean, you probably can't tell that much, but it's it's pretty bad, like, right there. And you know how suede is. It's not going to come out. So that's really disappointing, but I do love these shoes. I'll probably be selling them soon since spring is coming around, and I'm not going to wear these with shorts, obviously. But I just wanted to throw these in the video. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. If you did like the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe. I have, like, no subscribers right now, but I don't mean to always keep talking about this stuff, but it just seems like all of my viewers aren't subscribed. So, like I said, I really just want to grow the channel. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.